Life Audio. Hi, friends. This is Bonnie Gray, and I'm your host for Breathe, the Stress Less Podcast. How are you doing, friends? You know, now that fall is coming right up to our doorsteps and we might start bringing our sweaters out and it's time to actually get busy for many of us. Those of us who have kids, as we're starting new projects, we're wondering how we're going to get all these things done. It might be a time where you're running into a problem that I have and it's about being a people pleaser. How many of you are raising your hands right with me? Now, let me ask you a question and maybe you'll find out if you are a people pleaser. Hi friends, it's Bonnie Gray and this episode of Breathe is sponsored by Dwell. Looking for a fresh way to hear God's voice? Dwell is a Bible app that helps lower stress by listening to scripture. Dwell has tons of scripture playlists, so no matter how you're feeling, you can be encouraged by God's word. I love listening to scripture on my daily walk. That's why I'm thrilled about the Dwell app. They've built a beautiful reading and listening experience for the scriptures in your favorite version of the Bible, read by 10 diverse voices to inspire you. You can download scripture to take on a trip, to the store, or on a walk, making it easy to enjoy God's word no matter how busy life gets. Right now, Dwell is offering an amazing discount for new subscribers. So go to dwellapp.io slash breathe to get 10% off an annual subscription or 30% off for life. You save $60. So visit dwellapp.io slash breathe and breathe in scripture for the rest of this year or for life. This is a people pleaser dilemma. Those of you that are like me, okay, we are often finding ourselves with this dilemma. There's option A, okay? We often feel stuck between these two options. Option A is saying yes to everything and burning out. Or option B, we say no to one thing, but then feel guilty. And we're just really stressed out wondering, oh no, did I disappoint somebody? Is somebody going to be upset with me? Now, how many of you feel that way, kind of being stuck in between? You know, this is something that we don't talk about quite often, you know, in our church culture, and especially for those of us who really want to be helpful and we're used to being caregivers, being a people pleaser kind of comes with the territory, don't you think? And when we're little, depending on what our family structure is like, it's actually rewarded And we don't want to cause trouble. We don't want to rock the boat. So it's actually quite easier to kind of fly under the radar and say yes to things that maybe we're afraid to say no to, (laughs) or maybe we feel like we don't have a choice. Well, on today's show, I'm going to be encouraging you that God cares about how you feel and what's important to you. Now, some of you might feel, well, Bonnie, there are things I have to do. I don't really have a choice and my feelings are really not that important of a factor. Well, I would like to gently encourage you that there are some areas in our lives where we have to use our faith, leaning on God to press into getting things done because we need to, or we're walking through a really hard time, but not every area of our lives need to be weighed down by fear of others and obligation and duty. So there's a fine line between what do we do out of faith, leaning on God, and what do we do out of fear because we're afraid of someone's disapproval and whether we're afraid of some disappointing others and not meeting their expectations. Well, on our show today, you know, we're going to just get encouraged by what God has to say to free us and break free of people pleasing. There are things we can do that's based on science as well as inspired by God's word, send you off with a prayer to cheer you on in your day, or maybe you're just relaxing into the evening right now. 
I am the author of Sweet Like Jasmine, Finding Identity in a Culture of Loneliness and Whispers of Rest, as well as Finding Spiritual White Space. I want to invite you to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm back for the fall sharing videos and encouragement to just add some cheerfulness into your day to help your anxious soul calm and rest. So join me at The Bonnie Gray, at The Bonnie Gray, and sign up for my newsletter. It's a weekly newsletter where you get the links to the scientific studies that I talk about on the show and just reinforce the encouragement weekly of God's word and giving you a prayer. Sign up at thebonniegray.com slash subscribe thebonniegray.com slash subscribe. So one of the things that has been very difficult in being a people pleaser, you know, if I were to ask you, hey, what kind of uh, ice cream would you like to eat? You know, say I'm taking out for ice cream and I say, hey, you want mocha almond fudge or chocolate mint chip? You might say, well, yeah, actually, Bonnie, I like orange sherbet. Those kind of decisions when it's just nobody else is affected except ourselves, those are easier decisions for us to make. But when we struggle with people pleasing, our anxiety, and even our depression, you know, can increase when we feel like we're afraid to speak up and share what it is that we really want to say yes to. And what are the honest truths about what we want to say no to? And I'm curious, what are the things that you want to say yes to, but you're finding it difficult. Because there are myths that we have picked up along the way, you know, messages that we've taken onto ourselves. For me, one of those is you're only good enough if you do the things that will cause other people to accept you or think that you're okay and doing well. What is that myth for you that just kind of makes you feel like you have to say yes? And so a lot of times it's our our emotional health, our physical health, our mental health. We kind of absorb the, the cost of what it means to say yes. The flip side is what are some of the things that you're having trouble saying no to? As I'm giving you these examples, can you see that a lot of the focus is on somebody else's response to us. Isn't that right? And so when we go into that place where we're thinking a lot about somebody's response to us, this is a place of anxiety and also a place of depression, depending on how somebody had treated us perhaps in the past. Or maybe it wasn't something negative, but You've never been given permission. You've never been encouraged to say, you know what? You can say yes to something because it gives you joy. You can say yes to something because it gives you peace. Perhaps there wasn't space for you to say no. Well, God's word has something encouraging to say to us. In Psalm 62, verse one, it says, in God alone, my soul finds rest. My salvation comes from him. My rescue comes from him. Now, as I read this again, I want to ask you, what is the word that kind of just draws you in? What's the word that you're noticing is touching your heart today? In God alone, my soul finds rest. My salvation comes from him. You know, when I read and meditated on this promise from God, I felt I was drawn to the word God alone. You know, God really stands outside of a lot of expectations. He alone says, I love you unconditionally. He alone says, forever, you will receive my grace. In our last podcast episode, I talked about in episode 36, how to deal with delays and interruptions, life interruptions in our life. And God is so different. His grace doesn't have an expiration date. His approval doesn't have any expiration date. God alone draws us in and we find rest. That's a second word that's so key 
this is a really good indication for us. When, when you think about saying yes to something, is it giving you that rest, rest in who you are and what you're, what you feel like you're able to give? I recently went on a trip to Texas, Austin. I'd never been there before. I was invited by Jamie Ivy to go there to share my testimony about how I was able to become a Christian and how I became like how I even got to know God because I grew up in a home that was my parent didn't have faith in knowing God. And a lot of the faith was based on really f- the concept of fate and destiny, like the way your circumstances form you. I mean, you just got to go with whatever hand you're dealt with. And yet in that kind of a growing up situation, how did I get to know God? So when I was about to go to Houston, I had not been on a plane for like years, you know, during the pandemic, just kind of stayed put. Right. So I was struck about the instructions about the oxygen mask. You know, we are told we need to put the oxygen mask first before we help somebody next to us, our loved one or our children. Right. And it's just so important that we oxygenate our souls first to rest And then to refresh so that we can pour out to others and get into those hard places and, you know, whether it's parenting or caregiving or this really tough job we're kind of stuck in right now with the financial times that we're in, or maybe it's some of us, I know my friends dealing with cancer. There's so much pain every day she has to deal with. There are people going through difficult situations in their marriage. So many hard things. We can't breathe out what we don't breathe in. And so God says, in me, you will find rest. When you're with me, you don't have those expectations. And my salvation comes from him. Who am I looking to rescue me from my need for belonging and approval? Well, we definitely need it. So this is an important part of solution to people pleasing is that we need to be able to have places where we can be free, free to be who we are. It could be with friends we can laugh with. It could just be in nature where we're walking and finding rest. It can be in a hobby that God's just given you, loving gardening or knitting. I don't know what it is, but so we need to replace the truth with the myths that we've picked up about people pleasing. Let's hear God's word for that truth. As I read the different choices that we have that's found in Ecclesiastes, I want you to think which choice is God calling you to make? There is a time for everything, a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak. I want to ask you this passage in Ecclesiastes 3. What phrase jumped out at you? Because for people pleasers, we often ignore some of these seasons because we're afraid. But yet God says, do not be afraid. This season of your life is, for instance, a search or to keep or a time to throw away or a time to speak up, a time to scatter stones, or maybe you need to gather some yourself. I just want you to embrace that your voice is worthy and that God wants to bring you peace and joy. And if one area of your life is very difficult, especially it's more important than ever that you make choices that are good for your well-being because you are God's beloved child. And it's important to him that you don't burn out and you let go of whatever that's causing you any guilt. And you have the right to say, yes, to what gives you peace and no to the things that are damaging for your 
heart and your emotions. Well, today's soul care tip, I'm so excited to share with you. I used it as I had to shed a lot of responsibilities as I recovered from COVID to write book number four this summer. I wanted to make sure that I wanted to give this tip to you because it's about single tasking. It's so important as people pleasers for us to have multitasking, but when your body and your nervous system is starting to stress out and you're feeling anxiety in your body or depression, this is the opportunity to choose single tasking. This is your superpower that you and I are going to learn. And it's about choosing one thing. Forget about the things you could do and focus on the things you can do to bring you peace and joy, or that's important to you. Out of all the things that you have on your plate, do not put yourself last. What is the most meaningful thing that you can do that is purposeful for you? Put that at the top and then order everything else around it. Okay, here are some benefits for single tasking to inspire you. 10 benefits. Single tasking conserves energy. Single tasking improves productivity. Single tasking increases commitment, promotes self-discipline, strengthens us from distractions, improves our memory and attention span, makes us happier, improves our communication, improves our relationships, and gives us an advantage as our mental health is improved. So it's really, really important that we single task so that you don't miss out on the thing that is most meaningful to you. And so I want to empower you that whatever seed God's planted on your heart, it's worthy and it's important. We talked about this in episode 33, the, you know, overcoming regret is just creating new memories and prioritizing what God has given you. Well, I want to pray for us. It's so important that we're reminded that you are God's beloved. Dear God, thank you for the sister who is listening because when stress grips her today, help her to breathe. Help her to hear your loving voice, to lean into you, to let you love her and to simply rest in your peace. Lord Jesus, draw near to my friend as she's listening. Place your hand in hers. Reassure her of your gentle love. Touch her with your peace and presence. Thank you for all the beautiful treasures you've prepared ahead just for her. In your name, amen. Well, please sign up for my newsletter at thebonniegray.com slash subscribe. I am single tasking to encourage you. I've put off so many things off my plate because it's a 10 year anniversary of my first panic attack when I had PTSD and I feel so grateful. I want to share all this encouragement with you, pouring my heart and soul into every podcast and newsletter. Sign up so that you can receive this encouragement. I want to bless you with it and to be that voice of encouragement for you because you're worthy. So next time we're going to talk about beating the morning blues. I'm not going to give away the solution because I want you to listen. So I'll see you next time. Okay and share this podcast with a friend. Share with a friend. Let's get this word out and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Bonnie Gray. All right. Remember you're loved, you're cherished. Just rest. See you next time. Breathe, the Stress Less podcast is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hi, friends. It's Bonnie Gray, and this episode of Breathe is sponsored by Dwell. Looking for a fresh way to hear God's voice? Dwell is a Bible app that helps lower stress by listening to scripture. Dwell has tons of scripture playlists, so no matter how you're feeling, you can be encouraged by God's word. 
I love listening to scripture on my daily walk. That's why I'm thrilled about the Dwell app. They've built a beautiful reading and listening experience for the scriptures in your favorite version of the Bible, read by 10 diverse voices to inspire you. You can download scripture to take on a trip, to the store, or on a walk, making it easy to enjoy God's word no matter how busy life gets. Right now, Dwell is offering an amazing discount for new subscribers. So go to dwellapp.io slash breathe to get 10% off an annual subscription or 30% off for life. You save $60. So visit dwellapp.io slash breathe and breathe in scripture for the rest of this year or for life. 